On this street in Edinburgh, a last line of defence is going up. After suffering two floods within a year, businesses here have had to adapt. It was devastating actually. The damage to the building was enormous. Um, the water just, it, it just filled up every space like a swimming pool. Scientists warn that more frequent severe weather events are likely. Today, a sombre report from the IPCC revealed we are simply not adapting fast enough. Nearly half of humanity is living in the danger zone now. Many ecosystems are at the point of no return now. Today's report shows that extreme weather events linked to climate change are hitting humans and other species much harder than previously thought. But the authors say there is still a brief window of time to avoid the very worst. 2022 is going to be a really important year for Scotland, not only to get proper plans in place for those emissions reductions, but to also build the foundations for Scottish industry, the Scottish economy, to reap the benefits of the net zero transition. If we don't deliver on the Paris Agreement and limiting global warming to 1.5 degrees, then the reality is the types of intense weather events we've been experiencing in recent years will escalate. Today's report also delivered a stark reminder on the moral obligation for richer countries to help the most vulnerable. This footage was taken just a few days ago of severe drought in Somalia. The next big test for how countries are doing with their climate targets will be COP27 in Egypt in November. Today's study says this needs to be the decade of action if we are to turn things around. Laura Piper, STV News.